Today, I will show you how to put and animate the text behind and in front of the subject. The fun part is that it is very easy to put text in front and back of the subject or object in Filmora. Import the footage you want to use for the text animation, and then drag it onto the timeline. Then go to the Titles tab, drag and drop the default title on track 2, and make it 4 seconds long. Then go to the text setting, replace the existing text with yours, and then change the font. You can choose any bold font, then change the scale to 100. Then go to the video and adjust the text position. Now go back to the text and click on Advanced. Disable the fill color, enable the outline, change the outline color to white, and then change the thickness value to second. Now add the animation to the text, go to the animation, scroll down to the end and select the Raise Up animation. Then adjust the animation duration to 2 seconds. Then go to the Out animation, scroll down and select Round Zoom Out animation, and set the animation duration to 0.60 seconds. Then click on Apply to save the settings. And here we have a nice text reveal animation. Next, duplicate the text on the above track and make it 3 seconds long. Once again, click on Advanced, then enable the Fill option. Then change the color fill color to any color of your choice. Then go to the animation and in In Animation, change the animation to Typewriter and change the animation duration to 1.20. Now check if it is aligned perfectly with the outline text or not. If not, tweak the In Animation. Now to remove the background from the subject, duplicate the clip from track 1 to track 4. Then go to the AI tools, scroll down, and enable the AI portrait cutout. This tool allows you to remove the background with just a single click. Once the process is done, you can see it perfectly create a cutout of the subject. Now select both the text from tracks 2 and 3, and duplicate them on tracks 5 and 6. Then go to the text setting, and change the text. Then select both the text and go to the multiple and change the position and scale. Then select all the clips except track 1 and shift 2 tracks above. Now to add a frame, go to the stickers and search for rectangular and you will get the frame. Place it on track 3, then at the start, increase the scale and take it out of the frame, and on the scale keyframe, then after 15 frames change the scale to 76. Then duplicate the track 1 clip on track 2, change the opacity to 50% of the track 1 clip, then select track 2 clip and then go to the mask, select rectangle mask and adjust the mask according to the frame and on mask scale keyframe, then place the playhead at the start and increase the mask scale. Make sure it matches the frame zoom in. Finally, add an adjustment layer and do the final color grading. Now, let's render the project to see the final preview. With Filmora, you can animate your text easily. Get your hands on Filmora to create awesome text animation and take your editing skills to the next level. See you in the next video.